So today I'm going to show you how to embed LED strip lights in epoxy resin by forming a hollow tunnel. This technique makes it super easy to replace or change LED lights submerged in resin. So as a first step, one quarter inch clear flexible tubing works best. The tubing does not stay straight and prefers to curl. So therefore I recommend to use something that is rigid in order to keep the tubing straight. Also, be sure whatever you use is plastic because it will need to be cut by a saw in a later step. The item that I'm using happens to be an old plastic wire fish rod which fit perfectly. Then use hot glue or silicone to seal each end of the tube. So now there are two options. You can pour one thin layer of resin down at the bottom, allow that to cure, and then put the plastic tube on top of that bottom layer. For the other option, and the one that I used in this project, you can suspend the tube in the middle of where the resin will be poured and proceed with your resin pour. Essentially, the tube was the exact length of the space across where I was gonna pour the resin in this project. I definitely recommend the first option by pouring the thin layer first. It just makes things a whole lot easier and the risk of the rod moving is eliminated. So continue with your resin pours until the rod is fully encased in resin. If you're interested in watching this full project video, I'm gonna link it up in a YouTube card, so be sure to check that out. It's important to make sure to cut the end of the rod on each side. Ultimately, this exposes the rod, which makes it easy to remove. Once each end of the rod is exposed, push it a little from one side with a flathead screwdriver or a pair of pliers to expose the other end. Once the rod is completely removed, be sure to inspect the tunnel to make sure that you can see all the way through. So now it's time to install the LED strip lights in resin. First, tie or tape the LED strip lights to the rod that was used in the middle of the tube to keep the tube straight, or you can even use a string. I prefer the LED lights to face down towards the rear of the table, but that is personal preference. Next, pull the LED strip through the tunnel. Be sure to leave about five inches in excess in order to power the LED lights with a wall outlet or a battery as I did in this project. 